I'm on a winning streak. I'm on a winning streak. I'm on a winning streak. Yeah, I'm on a winning streak. 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 Yeah, I'm on a winning streak. I'm about to get off this live. All I'm saying is that at the end of the day, I kept quiet for months. I kept quiet. Nobody heard of me. Like, I'm human. He's human. She's human. I'm about to get off, babe. I am just told you I'm about to get off. I'm about to get off. All right. Let me say what I got to say. I'm about to get off. Um, uh, um, what was I going to say again? Okay. So I'm human. Cindy's human. He's human. We're not going to take away from him. We're not going to take anything away from him. Maddie's human. Everybody's human. So what my thing is and what the point I'm trying to make is I don't give a who the f you are. At the end of the day, take care of take care of your responsibility. It's niggas all over the world that have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe more kids. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe more kids. But you don't hear that's famous or whatever. But you don't hear their name ring next. You don't hear their name ring. Their name ringing bells. Blah blah, blah blah blah. Because at the end of the day, they take care of the situation. You're not gonna sit there and try me on top of try on top of try on top of try and try to clown me, bro. It's like you literally trying to clown me. You trying to clown me. Like you purposely trying to like throw subs, the all that mess. Listen, everything I listen, I don't been through mental abuse, phys um not physical abuse. I take that back. Mental abuse, emotional abuse, uh and uh mental abuse, emotional abuse. Mental abuse. I said that already. But whatever. The point is, at the end of the day, emotional distress. This I think he got it all. Like, he think he smarter than everybody. You're not going to sit there and keep fucking trying me. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about none of the baby mamas. I don't care. I'm not a jealous type. But you're not going to sit there and try me. Do what you're supposed to do. Simple as that. You're dodging. You're playing games. And then you're throwing subs. You and whoever condone that. Period. I'm not, a bad, I'm not mad about a vacation. I'm not mad about a watch. I can take my own self on a vacation. I can buy my own watch. Period. What in the entire fuck? Look how she's smiling. She knows she's tricking niggas. Look at it. It's a fucking dude. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Men Too Movement. And um, I was just sent some by my colleague, um, Katrina Gibbs, obviously from the uh, Conversation With Me show. Uh, if you haven't been there yet, you're missing the fuck out. Um, she just sent me what you just saw and um, it's 2 o'clock in the fucking morning and I, I, I had to get the fuck up and uh, speak about this shit um, because this is what the fuck I'm talking about. Um,
you nothing ass bitch. First off, let 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 let's address the first part of it. Let, let's go ahead and watch together. Like, I'm human. He's human. She's human. The fuck do you mean he's human, bitch? What the fuck does that mean, you nothing ass bitch? First off, let's just before we even look at this shit, let's get into it. Hey, bitch. You knew how many fucking children he had before you was fucking with him, while you were fucking with him, while you were pregnant, and when you made the fucking decision to go forth with the pregnancy. That didn't matter. You saw how much time he spent with the children, which was non-fucking-existent. You saw how he dealt with them, which was probably extremely rough. You saw them trying to come in and couldn't get in once they, once they had been pushed the fuck out. Why, and, and this is something that I don't get about uh, you nothing ass baby mamas. And you'll know if you're a nothing ass baby mama because if you, um, if you had a child by someone who um, showed you through either actions or words that he did not want to be a father, and not only did you get pregnant by him, but you went forth with the pregnancy, and then after that, you went down to the fucking courthouse and complained about this street nigga not being a good father. You're a nothing ass bitch. If you beg a man for money for your fucking, what you chose to do, you chose to do that. He didn't choose to do that, bitch. He didn't choose to do that. Nigga leaves a life of um, action, um, of non-responsibility, um, selfishness, and because you want that toxic person all to yourself, you tried to trap them. And when it didn't work, you went straight down there to the white folks. First off, you got pregnant and told them, I, I'm just trying to work this out. We got good news and we got bad news. Hold on, hold on. But all my, all my habitual donators that always hear their name during the um, AO Nation donation conversation that we do every third Sunday, I salute you before we do anything. Um, to take your hard earn and to put it in something that you fuck with, it motivates me beyond words. Period. Love. The good news is this. I'm going to continue to do the How to Identify Nothing As Bitch series. Of course, you know it's um, an AO Nation exclusive series. So you have to go to patreon.com and become a patron um, in order to watch it. And once you become a patron, you'll be able to see all of the other unreleased episodes that I couldn't put on YouTube. Every Monday, we go live on the Big Face Podcast channel at 7.30. A lot of y'all be late than a motherfucker, but we go live every Monday at 7.30. Um, if you're a lieutenant, you'll be given the privilege to call in and state your opinion at any point in time during the broadcast. Um, at 6.45, you'll be given a call-in number on your Patreon account, and we just go from there. For all my new people, if you want the uh, Are You Serious t-shirt, it's $15. The Big Facts Podcast t-shirt is $15. The Men 2 t-shirt is $20. And the Big Facts Podcast scullies are $10. Uh, go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10 address size color and what shirt you want it's time for the bad news the bad news is no one watches sponsored videos so if you're a rapper and you thinking that i'm gonna get an ig sponsorship or i'm gonna get a facebook sponsorship nobody's watching the shit so the numbers that they're telling you that you have are bullshit and you know that bullshit because when you post after you did your sponsorship your shit plummets even when you are running the sponsorship your fucking youtube numbers are bullshit they're bullshit stop playing with yourself 
here on this show where we do not accept trash music, we do not accept homosexual music, and we don't accept that mumble rap bullshit. The prices for promotion start at $200. They go up to $2,000 depending on how much exposure you want. They start there. So if you don't have $200, there's no reason to come this way. If your music is not up to par, there's no reason to come this way. I explain the packages as soon as you come in the inbox and say, hey, I got my budget together with the packages. I'm not putting out no fucking price sheet so you can pass that shit to your fucking homosexual homeboy and send him my fucking way. Ain't no fucking price sheet because everybody can't get on this show. I want to see your motherfucking profile. I want to check see what the fuck I'm fucking with. This show has integrity. That's why we rock the way we rock. But you keep paying that $25, $35 to a fucking sponsorship, which no one sees. They scroll right past it. And you'll be a fucking 50-year-old rapper. And that's just what it is. Just shit together, be home. Because now, and now you can come out. See, this bitch had nothing to say why she was with him. Because... She knows speaking out would have got her put the fuck out before she secured the bag. I'm gonna I'm gonna withhold the words I I I, I, I was about to say because that's an innocent party in all this. But you nothing ass bitches going out here. Stealing children from successful men and then running to the courthouse to collect your reward should be tarred and quartered for the whole world to see. You nothing ass bitch. If you brought a child into this world simply because either you wanted a man to yourself or you wanted that man's money, you should be you don't understand what you're doing to our community. These unwanted children, these unwanted babies grow up to be adults. And this is why you have people walking around the way they are. If we had more functional households, we would not be in the situation we're in. Do you not understand that you are merely carrying out, executing the plan that was given down Handed down from those that mean us no good. They know that you're not going to do anything of any consequence with the money. Because you had to be a parasite. The fuck is all this hair coming from? You had to be a parasite on somebody else and steal something from a person in order. And like, so it's wrong, but they're going to reward you for it. You don't see, like, maybe these motherfuckers are extremely evil. Like, it's obvious that I only fucked them and got the child because I wanted to get money. And they're rewarding me for it. Fuck it. I got some money. That shit don't matter. Bitch, you didn't walked out the motherfucking bank with the bag and left the fucking baby. This bitch... Then walked in the motherfucking bank, baby in hand, to get the chick. Cashed the chick, walked out with the bag of money, and left the child there. And it was totally legal. I want to know something. Let me ask that question. Let me ask this question. Woman has a child, puts a man on child support... Then she said, you know what, I don't want this child no more. Put him in front of a firehouse. Put him, uh, for, hey, here, y'all adopt this child. I'm, I'm done with this. She's not charged at all. 
first of all, if you're okay with that, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to, if you feel like that's right, I don't want to talk to you. Stay far away from me. If you, if that makes sense to you, you put me on child support for this child that I didn't want. I never wanted it. You chose to have this child. You had six fucking months. Day for day to choose and see where your life was. You nothing ass bitches are so disgusting that we can look in the Nipsey Hussle situation. Even if the father dies, you will go after his estate. He, why, why the fuck are you chasing this person down? You made the decision. The nigga told you, have an abortion. Here's the money for it. You took the fuck, like, who, 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 uh, who was that? Um, Gave the bitch the money, two million to abort the child, and this bitch took the money and still had the child. This is fair. Let's get back to the abortion situation. Uh, uh, the adoption situation. She puts him on child support three years, then chooses. I'm, I don't want the child. I'm, I'm good on this one. I'm, I'm going to have me another one. I don't like this one. Does that father still have to pay child support while the child's in foster care? Somebody find out the answer to that. How does that work? Somebody explain this to me. The party that had no colonists, I, I don't, I just, I came here to fuck. I'm, I'm extremely irresponsible, but I shouldn't be charged for the rest of my life for, you know, being irresponsible. I like, uh, like, I was just young and I didn't really, like, we all make mistakes while we're young. You're going to charge me for 18 years for, like, why, why would, why would she, she keep baby mama? This nigga was underage. And the court looked over the fact that she raped him and sexually um, assaulted him as a minor and went straight to saying, you need to take care of your child. What? What the fuck? But here it is. Let, let's get into this video. This nothing ass bitch. Let, let's go ahead and go, get into it. I'm trying to see what I need to call her old man because I want to call him a lame ass nigga but in turn he could have been a nigga who sent her over there like go on catch one of these goddamn celebrity niggas goddamn let it go ahead and hit that nigga with child support we got this bitch so they can conquer the plan um and that's this is why I speak to you guys the way I speak to you. For all my female followers and listeners, I'm giving you this, which I'm sure you already know it, but I need you to feel the pain of a man who will get discouraged to be anything in life simply because the person who hates him the most, his mortal fucking enemy, because if a bitch... You're a clean cut person and you're a college student, you know, and hey, you know, because a lot of a lot of times 
outsiders will see something in you that you don't see. Like, you'll think that you're just a normal fucking person. But this person to see you and be like, this motherfucker's a hard worker, got goals, is very fucking driven. I don't see nobody like that around. Shit, I need to goddamn because they know that they'll never be anything. So they have to attach themselves to a driven person with ambition and goals. So understanding your true value is extremely important. And it and to a certain extent, you have to be somewhat arrogant. Um, you know, stuck up. And see the true... I mean, if, if a bitch has an issue with condoms... Uh, I'm allergic. Okay, you're allergic. We're going to have to stop having sex altogether. They'll hit you with that head shit. You know what I'm saying? Because a nigga, when the blood come from your head and go to your head, it, it gets harder to think and easier to do dumb shit. It's a brain up here, not down there. So it, 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 it's just so easy. Um, and this is also... A nigga from Atlanta said... Because I, I told y'all to we're going to do a list of how to tell if she's a man. And um, he said what the T's will do is they'll off a head off top. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if that's like a motherfucker go-to thing, it's like they're trying to throw you the fuck off. They're trying because you're not going to put no condom on while like getting no head. They're trying to throw you off. Um, listen to what I'm telling you. They're trying to throw you off. If you don't see, and this is the fucked up thing about it, even if you don't see yourself, as I'm saying, even if you don't see yourself as anything special, you still have to fucking try to see yourself from every angle because people... There are true parasites out here that do not mind living off another person for the rest of their fucking life. To them, it's like insurance policies. So if this one don't work out, I got this one. So she'll have five kids by five different niggas. Hopefully, and, and all of them might be athletes. None of them went to the league, but one of them went to the league. So now she's straight. She's a prostitute, obviously. If you make money off your body, if you make money off of sex, you're a prostitute. You make money off of sex, bitch. I mean, if you can look at it, bitch, and tell, like, obviously, Eliza fucking Rain is a fucking prostitute. Um, but let's listen some more. But as far as the nigga in the background, um, let's say that you didn't send her over there. Um... Obviously, y'all relationship is not going to work out. Um, if you're not the nigga who sent her over there, your, your relationship is not going to work. Um, she's not capable of loving, not even her child. Um, she is a money-hungry, extremely vain bitch. This, this is who she is. Um, you will never be enough for her. Um, obviously, you're not a artist. You're not a big money. May, you might be a big money nigga, but if you're if you're a big money nigga, you lame. That's why she'll disrespect you like that. If you was a real heavy hitter like that, like how Sierra went from Future to um, Russell Wilson. She's not online. Like, she's upstanding. Like, I got some better over here. I'm financially secure, so I don't have to do the online shit. Um, I always use Beyonce as an example. Um, when you straight, you straight. Like, fuck all that dumb ass shit. I don't got to explain shit. Um, her being online is a telltale sign that everything is not, obviously, it's not good. Um, so, my nigga, whoever the fuck you are, don't get comfortable. And if you if you give this whole baby you're retarded, my nigga. What do you do, bitch? What do you do? 
What what's your, what's your job? Like, I'm human. He's human. She's human. What does that I'm mean? Yeah, she she ain't want nobody to hear that shit. Um, uh, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, okay. Um, I You nothing ass bitch. I can't believe she said that. The responsibilities line. Take care of your fucking responsibilities. Okay. If you had a problem with men that don't take care of their responsibilities, how in the fuck were you dating future? How are you dating... You nothing ass bitch. And the, like I said, I hate fake shit so fucking bad to the point where it's like, bitch. Like, so let me translate it. Uh, I'm human, she's human, we're human. She's saying, I'm trying to get me some money. Take care of your responsibilities. Pay me. And I shut the fuck up. Take care of your responsibilities. Bitch, he didn't have the responsibility until you put it there. You nothing ass bitch. You still a child from a nigga and then tell him take care of your respon after he's like I right, so all these children motherfucker got, he don't see none of them, he always on tour, always doing drugs. While y'all are going together and you seeing this shit. But then when you get pregnant, take care of responsibilities. I want all our children to be together and be happy, a family. And 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 dog, it, it's dog, it, it's it's it. Let's listen. Let's listen. This hoe made me so fucking sick, my nigga. I swear to God, dog. You know the baby mamas. You know them. You saw what the fucking nigga was doing. And you still had a child. And you're trying to paint it as if they're, like money is wasn't your fucking motive. You nothing ass bitch. Like I said in the Michael Strahan video that I have to put out, you you damn near, as we niggas out here, and you got these niggas that, that do the scam, and you got niggas that rob, niggas sell dope, all the shit that we do for money, obviously, well, bitch can do all those things that I just said, but they have an extra uh, secret compartment. Ironically, they can, fuck it, I ain't gotta be a, a, a trap bitch. I can legally get free fucking money. And it's free money because it's obvious you nothing ass bitches don't raise your children. I cannot wait to do the how to identify a nothing ass bitch by her children. The next video we're doing is the how to identify a nothing ass bitch by her mama. And I think that's coming out on Tuesday. On um, whatever date that is. But and make sure you get to the Patreon so you can if you haven't seen the four episode, how to identify a nothing ass bitch by a house, how to identify a nothing ass bitch in public. Um Did we do kids already? We already did kids. I do another one from the kids, dog. Um we already did kids, so go look at the one we we uh, did about kids. But I, I, cause 
it's obvious you, 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 you nothing ass bitches aren't raising these children. These children are chicks. And when, when, when you coming at it like this, this is why a nigga can take, like, people, if you're not strong enough and if you're not mature enough, a person can make you evil also to where when something happens to them, you laugh. Like, this is your enemy. So, and, and they'll make it to where you will even see the child as an enemy. And this bitch is so selfish that she don't even give a fuck. She don't give a fuck how the child goes to school and, and you know, when they see something about a, a father and shit like that, you know, they start asking questions and start and then you tell them your dad ain't want you as if that's gonna make them happy because you're mad this is why they need to be tarred and quartered these motherfuckers are evil to the bone and it doesn't wear off i'm gonna do the ayana video fix my life where the old bitch for 25 years, this bitch is old as fuck. They went on Ayana and it came out that she lied to her daughters when they were like three years old and told them that when they were younger, their dad sexually molested them. These fucking three girls were 25 years old when they found out on Ayana's Face My Life that their mama was lying the whole fucking time. And this bitch responded when I was like, why would you do this? We did a lot of, we did a lot of take the test and we asked you, were you lying when you said that he touched your children or y'all's children? And it showed that when you said no, there was deception. You lied. Why would you do that? This bitch said, you should have tried harder. You should have fought harder for him. What what other response can you have but to lunge over there and What other response is there? You're this old and you still haven't got over him cheating on you or whatever the fuck he did? You're you're still holding contempt and malice? So it doesn't wear off with age. You don't outgrow it. If it's in you, it's in you. And I'm telling you, man, I would like, this is what this whole How Do I Identify a Nothing Ass Bitch series is about. So you don't end up with a motherfucker like this, man. A parasite. What else can I tell you? What else can I tell you? This is what the fucking, this is what this shit was about. Legally, legally, these motherfuckers can just fuck you over. And every time, let's say that you put that shit behind your eye, right, bitch. You on child support and shit like that. You paying it faithfully. And then you finally, three years later, you finally getting back on your grind and getting your shit together. Do you know every time you come up, this bitch will go back to court and hit you with a modification to where more, you lose more of the money that you need to put into your business for it to thrive? My nigga, when you see the Michael Strahan video, the bitch was given $15.3 million and rewarded $18,000 a month in child support. And this bitch went, this white bitch, and this bitch went back to court saying she needs more because he's doing better. Not because she's doing worse. Not because the chick, no, no, no. Because he's doing better you need to take more of his money that he's earned. I haven't come up in the fucking least. I was never coming up. He is the best thing that ever happened to me. 
Without him, I would have been another fucking Waffle House worker. And I, 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 in that video, I really explained how what love is and what a relationship has to turn into. It can't last. It can't because you're never going to get back what you had in the beginning, which is that mystery. I want to get to know you. After I've gotten to know you, I love being around you. Yeah, the same shit every day, huh? Tacos again, huh? Spaghetti again, huh? Chip. Um. Um. We going to um. We going to Chile for um. Uh, vacation. We going to Mexico for vacation. We going to Cancun for vacation. Again, huh? In that video, I I explain how and I, I told who I told this to. I, I told this to um I told this to D. I said uh, fucking the same bitch for to me it's, it's very short, but let's say a year starts to feel like masturbation. You have to start faking nuts. Just to get out of it, because it doesn't even feel like sexy. Like it's just like you beating your meat. You ever like beat your meat too much? <laughs> I keep seeing some shit on Facebook where a motherfucker, uh, it's a little black dude, say he had a, a heart attack after beating his meat 56 times to go on a Guinness World Record or some shit like that. That's just something else. But it's not. It's, it's the thrill is gone. It's over. And I mean, that's I, that, that's that's all that can happen. That's all. That, so I feel like the whole thing is a setup. Um, we have to get rid of this system as it is. But I, like I said, this with the men too shit. Like I get niggas behind the scenes. You know, I, I'm I'm stacked the fuck up with with niggas. Wanting to get on and, and tell his story, but I'm not stacked up on support. Like, niggas have been beat down so much. It's like, I ain't trying no more, man. Fuck this shit. Okay. What the fuck? You got Trey Songs, the bitch, Selena Powell, just went on fucking no jumping. Um, said Trey Songs raped her again. Why couldn't that turn into a, a R. Kelly case? They're picking up anything, everything. The only solution to this, until we get reform, is the three S's. Not only do you need that for you to be safe, if you're gonna be anything. If you just, nigga, if you just a nothing ass nigga, do your thing. But she'll abort, that's, that's the crazy thing. She'll abort that child. She'll abort that child. But once she get with a, you know, so it's, it's just, but it's just disgusting to hear these bitches talk. It bothers me so much because it's like, Bitch, you wouldn't even get, you would never, ever, but that's what I tell y'all, you don't know a bitch until you get her, like you don't know her until you put a baby in her. Then you'll find out what she really wanted to say the whole time, because she understands, she knows, just like a white lady, she understands, she knows that she can punk you out in front of everybody because... As a black man, you know what you're going to get when you go to the fucking courthouse. Black man put hands on a white woman. Nigga, please, it's over with. I got your child. 
Nigga, do what I say or I'm putting you on child support. You know what that's like. And then we... we When a nigga flash the fuck out and say, bitch, you got life fucked up and do the unthinkable, then it's up. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no. No. Stop playing with people. Stop trying to fucking leech off of people. But, my nigga, let, let, future, let me holler at you, my nigga. Like, you with another nothing ass bitch. Like, what the fuck? Like, my nigga, what the fuck do you have going on? What you got going on? They're raping you. They're raping you. And you went and got another fucking Instagram model? Industry bitch like, Speak on this shit is because the I, I can't stand the, the the like the way these bitches talk but at this point with with what I'm putting out here with what you're seeing how niggas are just getting murdered in court for you to like there's no helping you I made a video while while back um, being a baby mama is not a fucking career choice where well, I broke all this shit down how don't you understand like nigga you like but like I said nigga don't understand shit until like you gotta fucking go get a job because of the fucking child support. Nine, ten, with more kids, but she don't hear. That's famous. Or whatever, but you don't hear their name ring next. You don't hear their name ring the name ring Because at the end of the day, they take care of the situation. You're not gonna sit there and try me on top of try, on top of try, on top of try, and try to clown me, bro. It's like you literally trying to clown me. Why wouldn't I? You're a prostitute. You're trying to clown me. Like, you purposely trying to, like, throw subs, all that. Listen, everything, I, listen, I don't have been through mental abuse, this, um, not physical abuse, I take that back. Mental abuse, emotional abuse, uh, I didn't been through mental abuse and emotional abuse. You mean like what about financial abuse? The fuck is mental if if you went through it from future? Why can't a man say, I've been through mental abuse, I've been through verbal abuse and emotional abuse, I'm just fucking. If Future did that to you, why in the fuck would you have his child, you nothing ass bitch? And it's like, dog, I, it's, it's, I, it, I, I get so angry at this shit because these bitches, man, these nothing ass bitches, Like, how are you not the right hand of white supremacy? They can't touch us. Why the fuck would you be a trap for them? Why would you help? How are you any better than, like, bitch, you are the minion of Trump. You're the minion of Trump. Like, you bitches are helping destroy our successful black men the racist white men can't do it they don't like that we making all this money and we're, we looking like we got some we're having shit we buying land 
but you motherfucking blood sucking nothing ass bitches. It make dog. It, it really make you dog. Whenever you see a, a a a female, especially a black female, that's out here and dog. I I real talk, man. Any female, especially black female, that has children but does not have the father on child support, and she working a job, she doing dog. You damn near want to fucking marry the motherfucker, man. You at least want to give them, you know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fuck you good, man. I'm just gonna go ahead. I, I'm gonna go ahead for you. I'm gonna break the three S's, and I'm because you deserve it. You fucking deserve it. With all these nothing ass bitches, well, we gonna have to start doing dog. We gonna have to start rewarding the real women out this motherfucker. Dog, I'm, 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 dog, I'm. A, let me write this shit down. Reward. Real women, and I'm gonna write down. I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna take a break from the how to identify a nap, and we're gonna go into how to identify a real woman. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do, bitch. If you got a nigga on child support, you a nothing ass bitch. You don't get no motherfucking reward, bitch. You are the right hand of white supremacy. Them motherfuckers can't get to us. You, bitch, if you didn't put a nigga, you didn't uh, call the police for domestic violence knowing goddamn well you the reason why uh, the shit popped off. You've been hitting this nigga. For, bitch, you didn't hit a nigga for a fake rape charge. We have to start motherfucking IDing these hoes. So that if a nigga fuck with a nothing ass bitch, that's what he wanted. That's what he wanted. That's and and pretty much you know what the fuck like I'm telling you now future the fuck uh, uh, Joe what the fuck is this whole name Josie Chavez this is a nothing ass bitch yeah this whole right here look at this bitch Joe Joey Chavez I'm gonna try to remember put this uh put this pitch in the uh in the video. You got you another nothing ass bitch. Damn, all that shit is unavailable now. All that shit Katrina sent me, that shit was, uh, it was. Let me see that shit, but not, not let me see it. I'm glad I got that shit first. Let's go to the third one. Let's see what the fuck this whole talking about, man. And, uh, she don't believe what she's saying either. You can tell by... Mental abuse. I said that already. But whatever. The point is, at the end of the day, like emotional distress, this woman thinks he got it all. Like, he thinks he smarter than everybody. You're not going to sit there and keep fucking trying. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about none of the big moms. I don't care. I'm not a jealous person. But you're not going to sit there and try to do what you're supposed to do. Simple as that. Do what, do what I told you to do. Do what's supposed to happen. Do what's supposed to happen. What's supposed to... Hold on, man. Because this motherfucker didn't stop recording. I swear to God. I just had to make sure. Do what you're supposed to do. What's supposed to happen is I get your baby, so I I, I, I uh fuck on you uh for to get you, you know what I'm saying, um to trust me and shit like that, and then I have your baby and I get paid. Why am I not being paid by now? I should be paid by now. I should have money by now. I've told y'all before. Being broke physically fucking hurts. It hurts physically. You can feel it. It does not feel good. You don't know what a person is going to do once they are broke. Like, I got to do something, man. 
do something. But what doesn't come to a motherfucker head? A um, if a person is not dedicated to re, if they're not dedicated enough to their goals, where they'll go and work a nine to five to ensure that they achieve their goals. If before they get a nine to five, they're gonna go try to take it from somebody first. This is obviously not a person that you should fucking trust. Obviously, it's not. Um, period. Period. You have a goal. You know that going out here robbing somebody is going to take away from your goal. How dedicated are you to your goal? If you will jeopardize your achieving your goal by um, risking years behind bars, you're not that dedicated. That you can see what dedication looks like. You looking for a quick fix? You gonna end up in the same fucking spot, and you can go ahead and listen to these fucking stories. Yeah, man, I just I ain't never had no job, bro. I ain't never see how it works for you. Keep following behind your favorite rapper and see how it works out for you. And you are gonna be singing all his songs from behind the fucking. You know that shit word for word, and they gonna tell you every all the niggas in this bitch gonna tell you, man, say that say that goddamn young boy again. Yeah, no small, no small, no small, no small. Trying to be like your fucking favorite rapper. What's getting me about this shit is, like, bitch, just say what it is. If this hoe would just come out and say, man, I want the goddamn money, my nigga. Come with that goddamn money, nigga. Fuck the bullshit. Come with the money, nigga. Man, kill all this responsibility, bullshit, bitch. Ain't no responsibility, bitch. You wanted some fucking money, period. That's what all you nothing ass bitches is trying to get. When you're dating a fucking Cardi B, just fucking uh, uh, uh that's another thing uh, Katrina sent me from the conversation when we show. Cardi B is saying my uh, child calls another woman mommy because my schedule is just so crazy. How in the fuck? Is an artist going to be a good parent? My issue is that there are laws standing behind these nothing ass bitches. And until that shit changes, the only option for us well to do black men, well to do men, men who really believe in ourselves that see that I'm going to be somebody someday is the three S's. If you don't mind taking that gamble, do that. What I what I tell you is, but you better make sure that um you gonna that's the woman. Make sure that you know what I'm saying like that's her, and you don't have a, a, a Jezebel spirit because when she finds you cheating, she's going to start hating you, and she's going to try to destroy you. And the easiest way she gonna is now put you on child support for the child that you already have. Yeah, the story goes on. You have to protect your money. This is what money brings. These type of people. Future, after after you've had enough motherfucking, you know, experience to, to you should be able to see this shit. Whatever. The point is, at the end of the day, this is the thing he got it all. Like he thinks he I'm not mad about her vacation. 
I'm not mad about a watch. I can take my own cell phone to a vacation. I can buy my own watch. How? Period. How? And uh, mental abuse. This bitch is retarded. Um, but and then she said you try me, you try me, bitch. Who the fuck are you to say that? Like, bitch, a nigga can try you, bitch. This nigga was trying you all. Like, I'm sure this nigga has made you participate in threesomes that you was not with, and you played the fucking part until you got the fucking key. And now it's you trying me, you trying me. You nothing ass bitch. And that's what I don't like. See, if you a stand up real woman. It's, you know, like, you don't have to get some dirt on a nigga or get a nigga in a, a position where the court's gonna back you up to where now you can say, well, I don't like you doing that. Stand up and say you don't like this shit, but a bitch is not gonna do that. Nothing ass bitch is not gonna do that. She's going to play up under you, just like the other girl who said, I trapped you. She gonna play up under you until she gets what the fuck, until she got you in checkmate. And it's not really checkmate because they ain't giving out number 10 years for murder. So, but I ain't, you know, that's, that's something else. But, you know, but that, that's, that's too live. So, I, but, you know, but I'm, I'm telling you, my nigga. This shit here, like, dog, come on, man. Ain't nobody, you, you don't rob 18 years, 18,000 a month. Let you do that for six years. Man, that's grand fucking larceny. That's grand fucking larceny. It's 200,000 fucking dollars. Just about. Don't quote me on that. I'm hungry and I'm sleeping. So don't, don't quote me on that. But it's legal. It's legal. So it's your choice. It's your choice. If you feel like you know I know her. I bet Future knew every one of them hoes. All them bitches play their position, head when nigga wanted it, didn't matter. Motherfuckers just played slave, sex slave. Didn't matter what a nigga did, nigga could have brought a bitch in the studio, fucked in front of her. She just. Now let's do what you're supposed to do. I went through mental. Uh, why did you stay? What was the incentive to stay? Securing the bag. These bitches don't even know they fucking children name. Bitch don't give a fuck about no goddamn children, man. These hoes about a bag. If these bitches love kids, they would have kept that the fucking baby they fucking had by that fucking uh uh, uh peel head ass nigga, that coke head ass nigga, that broke ass nigga. Nigga, they ain't keep that motherfucking child. They scraped up that money to get that goddamn abortion. These bitches will fall down some steps to kill that goddamn child. But you get one by future and this goddamn like you do what you pose bitch, get the fuck out of here, bitch. No respect to a nothing ass bitch like that. I tell that bitch to her fucking face. With that nigga there. Ho ass nigga, you a bitch ass nigga, nigga. Unless you sit that hole over there to get that money, and even then you still a bitch ass nigga. Get your shot the street, nigga. Get it out the street, nigga. Bitch ass nigga. You letting this whole talk on, on online. You lame ass nigga. Nigga, you might have well been fucking future, nigga. You got a surrogate to fuck him because you want to fuck him, you faggot ass nigga. Bitch ass nigga, man. Nigga, it, it, this, nigga something to happen with these motherfuckers, man. I swear to God, dog. Something to happen with these motherfuckers. But. But as I digress, the best thing to do, best thing to do with a nothing ass bitch or a nothing ass nigga is to stay far fucking away from them. It goes back to how much do you believe in yourself? If you believe in yourself and you don't have time to give to the state for doing anything to anybody or whatever the fuck. Stay the fuck away from them. If you if you already own child support, if you already have been burnt by one of these right hands of white supremacy, go on about your way and don't let it happen again. That's the advice. Do that. Um, 
it just I did it, it truly truly bothers me. I just hate fake shit, man. I like just say what the fuck it is. I I I feel better if this hoe was in the club dapping hoes off. Like, bitch, we finna get this money? Like, what are you even online for? And you know what it probably is, though? <laughs> it probably is she trying to dodge and he probably getting it to where he, he can't be served. You know what I'm saying? He just can't he can't be served with the child support papers. So she mad because the money ain't came in yet. Because he hasn't been served. That's how he does it. He think he's smarter than everybody because he ain't got served with his papers yet. Take care of your smart. Bitch, fuck you. And that fucking child. Bitch. That's how the fuck I feel. Big Facts Podcast. I'm A.O. Canseco. At this point in time, man, we at war with a lot of motherfuckers, man. And nothing ass bitches are at the top of the fucking key. Make sure you hit the PayPal. Make sure you go to the Patreon. Um, we got a lot of shit to pay on the Patreon right now. We got a lot of fucking videos. Um, I might have to put this show on the goddamn Patreon because I was talking kind of heavy. Um, who knows? Get to the Patreon so you don't miss it. I'll see you in a minute. Love, love.